Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberhouse White. Let's talk about something you've definitely heard of but maybe don't know much about IP addresses. But first, meet me, your friend Saaz. I'm a web developer and IT specialist, and I'm here to help break down these techie topics into something simple and easy to understand. If someone manages to get your IP address, they can do a lot of damage to your life, from sending you spam to attacking your computer. In this guide, we'll show you all the ways that someone could use your IP address. In addition, we'll give you practical advice on how to protect this valuable piece of information. For example, IP address as the home address for your devices. Just like your home address tells the mail where to go, an IP address tells data where to go on the internet. Every device that connects online has its own unique IP address, kind of like its personal ID number. There are two types of IP addresses, IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 looks like this, 192.168.1.1, short and sweet, right? But with so many devices in the world, we ran out of IPv4 addresses, which is where IPv6 comes in. It's a bit longer like this, 2001, 0db8, 85a3, 0000, 0000, 2 e 0370 7334 kind of a mouthful, but it does the job. We'll also cover the difference between public and private IP addresses and why it's important for your online privacy. By the end of this video, you'll be an IP address pro. IP stands for Internet Protocol. An IP address serves as a home address for computers and other devices on the Internet. It's vital for transferring data online. Without IPs, your device wouldn't know how to reach a website or service, and they wouldn't know how to send traffic back to your device. Typically, an IP looks something like this, 104.124.145.85. Go to Settings, select Network and Internet. Choose one of the following, for Wi-Fi. Click Wi-Fi, then Manage Known Networks. Select the network you want to change, for Ethernet. Click Ethernet and select the connected network. Next to IP assignment, click Edit. Choose Automatic DHCP recommended. To let your router set the IP and DNS automatically or select Manual to enter the details yourself. Click Save. Click the Apple icon in the top left corner. Choose System Settings. Select Network from the left sidebar. Click Details under the Wi-Fi settings. Select TCP IP on the left. In the DHCP lease section, click Renew DHCP lease. Click Apply. To change your address on an Android device, navigate to Settings. Choose Connections. Choose Wi-Fi. Select the network you're using. Choose Forget. Log on to the network again and you'll have a new address. Now let's move on to changing your IP address on a router. This method can be useful if you want to change the IP address for all devices connected to your network. First, open a web browser and type in your router's IP address. This is usually something like 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. You can find this information in your router's manual or on a sticker on the router itself. Next, log in with your username and password. If you've never changed these, the default credentials are often admin for both fields. Once logged in, navigate to the Settings or Network Settings section. Look for an option to release and renew your IP address. This might be under a section called Juan or Internet. Click Release to let go of your current IP address, then click Renew to get a new one. Save your changes and restart your router. After the router restarts, your network should be assigned a new IP address. This method is particularly useful for securing your entire network and not just individual devices. To change your IP address on an iPhone, open the Settings app, choose Wi-Fi, select the network you're using currently. Under the IPv4 address section, select Configure IP. Click Manual to manually update your information. Enter your IP address. Save your changes. If someone manages to get your IP address, they can do a lot of damage to your life, from sending you spam to attacking your computer. But what could really happen if a hacker gets hold of your IP? We'll give you full advice on how to protect this valuable piece of information, restrict access to websites, show targeted ads and spam, track your online activities, carry out DDoS attacks, attack you with personalized phishing, use your IP for illicit activities, 
sell your data on the dark web, ban you in online game. Many websites or services restrict access based on your physical location. This is called geo-blocking. Ever seen a message saying a video isn't available in your area? That's geo-blocking at work. IP addresses reveal your location, so websites know when to limit access. Unlike personal IP bans, these restrictions affect everyone in that area. YouTube TV allows you to see local content only from the city where you live unless you use a YouTube TV VPN to change your YouTube TV location. Netflix knows what country you're in and provides access only to that country's library of shows and movies unless you change your Netflix region with a Netflix VPN. Read our guide on how to use a VPN to watch Netflix. It's easier than you might think. Check it out. Link in description. With your IP address, someone can launch a DOS denial of service attack against you, preventing access to network resources like websites, online accounts, and email. The most common method is flooding your IP with server requests, which overloads your system. A DDoS, distributed denial of service attack, takes it further, using multiple machines to create even more intense traffic. This is why many people use VPNs to help block DDoS attacks. If you're playing against a game admin and you beat them, they might ban you from the match. This could lead to your IP address being blacklisted on the entire site. If an employer wants to monitor what you're doing on your laptop at work, they can use your IP address to track your every move through the office Wi-Fi network. Not the best news for your privacy. You might think keeping your IP to yourself is enough to protect it. However, it's actually pretty easy for someone to find your IP address. Here's how. Network connections. Anyone connected to your network can easily find your IP, as networks provide the same IP to all devices. Websites. Every time you visit a website, it logs your IP, including social media and forms. Ads. Both legitimate and phishing ads can record your information if you click on them. Email clients. Some email services, like Yahoo, display your IP in the email header. Forums. If you participate in online discussions, forum admins can see your IP with each post. P2, P file. Sharing. Technologies like torrents reveal your IP when uploading or downloading files. Fake Wi-Fi hotspots. Administrators of hotspots can see the IP of anyone who connects. Physical access. If someone physically accesses your device, they can find your IP quickly. Social engineering. Hackers can impersonate someone you trust to trick you into revealing your IP. You've learned the risks and how someone can access your IP. Now let me tell you how you can protect it. Update your firewall. Firewalls are there to protect you, but you need to keep them updated. If you don't, you may miss out on security patches and updates made to ensure the best performance. Use secure passwords. Make sure to use secure passwords on all your devices and accounts and update them regularly. Doing so will help prevent anyone from using brute force attacks, scripts run by hackers that allow a computer to keep guessing your password until it gets it right on your systems. Use a VPN. A virtual private network routes your internet activity through one or more servers, which gives you a new IP address and hides your personal IP. No hacker will be able to trace the new IP address to you. If you don't want to use a VPN because certain IPs get banned by services, no worries. Dedicated IP counters that by giving you a personal unique IP, use a proxy server. If a VPN is outside your reach, a trusted proxy server can replace your IP with a fake one while you use it. Much like free VPNs, using free proxies can be risky, so make sure to pick a proxy you can trust. Use Tor software. Tor is a web browser that lets you browse online anonymously. Like a VPN or proxy server, Tor hides your IP address, in this case by routing it through an open source network of other Tor users. Hackers breached Tor back in 2019. A group that called itself 0v1 Rudollar managed to steal 7.5 terabytes of data from a Russian agency. Two. However, Tor said it has fixed the problem. Update your privacy settings. If you're using a service that collects your private information, such as Microsoft Outlook, make sure you check your privacy settings. Many of them will let you either opt out or limit where your real IP address is shared. Ask your ISP for a dynamic IP. Your ISP may be able to provide you with a dynamic IP address. 
This means you would get a new IP address every few hours or so rather than using a static IP address that always stays the same. Use mobile data. When your smartphone uses mobile data, the ISP always assigns it a dynamic IP address which means that it changes with time. Section 6. A Gateway to Corporate Chaos – Attacking Company Servers While individuals are certainly vulnerable to IP-based attacks, businesses and organizations are often prime targets for hackers. By gaining access to an employee's IP address, hackers can potentially infiltrate a company's network and wreak havoc on their systems. Think of it like sneaking into a building by following an employee through a security door. Once inside, the hacker can move freely within the network, potentially accessing sensitive data, installing malware, or even taking control of critical systems. This type of attack can have devastating consequences for businesses, leading to financial losses, data breaches, reputational damage, and even legal repercussions. Companies must prioritize cybersecurity measures, including employee training, strong passwords, and network segmentation to minimize the risk of such attacks. Section 9. Shielding Your Digital Identity – Practical Tips for IP Protection While the threats posed by IP address exploitation are significant, there are practical steps you can take to minimize your risk and protect your online identity. One of the most effective methods is using a virtual private network, or VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic and routes it through a secure server in another location, masking your IP address and making it appear as though you're browsing from a different location. Another crucial step is to enable your firewall. Firewalls act as a barrier between your device and the internet, blocking unauthorized access attempts and filtering incoming and outgoing traffic based on predefined security rules. Additionally, keep your software and operating systems updated. Software updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities, making it harder for hackers to exploit them. Regularly updating your software ensures that you have the latest protection against emerging threats.